Well, thank you very much. You know, since we met, a lot is happening. Crime is on the rise in L.A. And we want to talk to you about this. Can you tell us what's going on now in L.A. with, with what you guys are seeing? Well, every category of crime is up. In some categories, it's way up, like homicides. But the most recent phenomenon that's captured the public's attention is um, the amount and the kind of robberies that are occurring. Uh, they're captured on television, uh, home uh, security cameras, uh, and otherwise. And I think the public uh, is, has become very aware very quickly uh, how bad things are in Los Angeles in terms of crime and their vulnerability or potential to be victimized. So what kind of things are happening? We have been hearing that people are getting, people are following others home and then they're robbing them. Well, actually, you know, robbery uh, in the penal code is stated as taking someone else's property through th the threat uh, of force or by in inflicting fear. Um, but it can take many different uh, methods. There are follow home robberies now, uh, more and more. That's basically where the criminal element sees someone with, a, say, a, an expensive watch, a Rolex, some other expensive watch, driving a nice car, um, or something else indicates that they're probably pretty well off. And they have cash on them. They follow them home, wherever it may be. And then they confront them at gunpoint, and they take the high-end watch, they take the car, they take the money, they take whatever they can. That is um, uh, becoming, becoming more common. It's a, it's a form of robbery. Uh, when they take the car, it's a carjacking. So it's very, very serious. When they use a gun, very serious. Uh, another form of robbery is what I call flash, uh, smash, bash, and dash. And basically, uh, groups of individuals in an organized way go into a high-end store, Nordstrom's, Louis Vuitton, something of that nature, a jewelry store, and they just come in as a large group, the cars wait outside, they oftentimes threaten the security guard, threaten the uh, patrons, threaten the uh, people who work there, the employees, um, uh, with uh, either, you know, let's say pepper spray, bear spray, um, uh, a hammer that they're gonna use. That's a robbery. They're using force, they're inflicting fear, and they're taking something. That has become uh, very common in not just Los Angeles, but throughout the country in some of these other cities, Chicago, New York, uh, et cetera. Who do you think these uh, criminals are that are actually doing these activities? Is this organized or is it just some guys that don't have money and, you know? There, there are uh, criminal, they're all criminals. Some are opportunists because they see a way they can commit their crimes and get away with it. Those are the opportunists. Many of them are gang members. So they have some kind of an organization already among themselves. Uh, and they're criminally oriented. Uh, a lot of them are actually juveniles committing uh, robberies, armed robberies, at the direction of gang members. So that's pretty much my analysis of who's pulling these uh, follow home robberies, these shoot 'em ups, you know, at the restaurants. Um, and the flash, smash, bash, dash robberies. It's, that's, that's the element. Do they look at our policies and say, okay, you know, the, the odds of getting caught is really low, so we can do it this way. Do they analyze that? Yes, they all know. They all know about Prop 47. They all know about Gascon and his soft policies. They all know that juveniles, even if they commit multiple murders, will never, ever be tried in adult court, even though they're age 16 or age 17. They know this, and they take advantage of it. That's why uh, in Beverly Hills, they've had uh, a spate of um, robberies by juveniles, uh, gunpoint, armed robberies, and the juveniles are put out there by uh, adults because they're not gonna suffer any punishment. They will not even be charged with an armed robbery under Gascon's policies these activities happening, coming, getting this much attention, these kind of robberies. There was a trend of people going into stores in California and stealing like $900. And there was a bunch of stores that were closed down because of it. People were walking with a calculator, right. they calculated, okay, it's $900, 900, 
less than $950 and they walk out. Yep. Do you think this is the same people getting more aggressive or do you think this is a different element? This is, I, I believe this is a different element. Um, <laughs> they're not walking into uh, Louis Vuitton and with a calculator saying, I don't want to steal any more than 950. They're going in there uh, oftentimes with a threat of force, creating fear and taking as much as they can in the tens of thousands of dollars. So a lot of the, this crime that we're talking about right now, it's not Prop 47 and uh, someone figuring, well, I'll go into the, the local drugstore and get 800 bucks worth of stuff and it's only a misdemeanor, all I do is get a ticket. Uh, it's not that. This is not Prop 47. This is gangs, criminals with records, undeterred, not getting caught. And if they are caught, not being effectively prosecuted. That's what's going on. Now, what about the people of LA? People that are concerned, they want to wear the watch, nice watch, and they want to drive a nice car. What about them? What can they do to change this trend? <laughs> well, um, that's, that's a good question because the LAPD um, just advised the people within Los Angeles City that when you are robbed, just give it up, don't resist, let it go. Oh, try and get a license plate, but don't do anything to, to, stop, to stop them. Okay, but that's almost like giving up, almost like giving up. I guess if I had to give uh, people an advice, if you're wearing the high-end watch, and you drive the nice car, um, when you go home, watch your rear view mirror, see if someone's following you. If someone is, and they're staying behind you, go to a police station, park there find out one is, punch it in your GPS thing and go there. Um, the people eating at restaurants, I don't know what to tell them other than, hey, stay home. Don't go out to your favorite restaurant, your five-star restaurant in Beverly Hills because you never know, you might get shot. What's the solution there? Stay home, don't enjoy life, uh, don't go out and see your friends. Um, in terms of the um, uh, flash, smash, bash, and dash, the robberies that are occurring, you know, I, I guess you don't need to go out and uh, shop at Nordstrom's, buy online. What kind of a life is that? What kind of a life is that? They should change, They're, these good citizens who are contributing to society in a meaningful way, they've got to sacrifice their lifestyle because George Gascon won't do his job as the chief prosecutor. That's ridiculous. They should not have to suffer because of bad policies of a very uh, bad person who happens to be their prosecutor temporarily.